YouTube channel. Okay, new welcome, returning subscriber. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you for joining the family. If you're a subscriber, if you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button to join the family. Okay, so today I'm wear I'm wearing my glasses, guys. I know you haven't seen me wearing this. I just got them. Um, yeah, I just got them. And the reason I'm wearing them now is because I'm kind of facing the sun because I want the light. I want the light, you know, for this video. So, um, and my doctor um, recommended that I should wear my glasses whenever I'm, I don't know, whenever I'm exposed to the light because my eyes are kind of sensitive to the light. Um, and yeah. So I'm wearing them right now. I just hope you get to me <laughs> wearing this. I'm not used to them yet, but I just hope as time goes on, I'm gonna get used to them. You know. So why am I here? Why am I doing this video? I wanna talk about my experience in Russia, part two, part two. <laughs> Yeah, I want to talk about my experience in Russia part 2. Last time I did part 1, I was answering people's questions that I was asked on Instagram. So today I'm going to be talking about my personal experience. Even on that video I talked about my personal experience but I just feel like I didn't talk about everything and I just feel like you guys, there are things that you should know if you didn't know. You know for future purposes you might like to visit you might like to know you know but i just feel like it's better for you guys tonight yeah you guys i'm not used to this ah but i got just to it as time goes on aha uh -huh. so the first thing that i think you should know guys is that russia is cheap when it comes to food, clothes, transport, everything is just cheap, guys. It's, let me just say affordable. I can't say it's cheap, 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 but it's affordable. But I think that depends on where you are. Because like when I'm there, I stay in Tambov, and Tambov is just like a small state. So it's not that big and it's not overcrowded. So things are kind of different compared to other states. Tambov is super cheap compared to Moscow. Moscow, which is the capital city. So like checking the prices were like when I, where things are like the things I bought when I was in Moscow. I just like, I didn't buy like a lot of things. So like, you know, like for example, water and like, let me just say a juice. I'm just giving it an, an example because I just I didn't buy, you know, because the only time I was in Moscow it was when I was at the airport. Yeah, so I can't say more about it. So um, yeah. So compared to things I bought in Moscow and then in Tambov, guys, it's super cheap. Even like when our friends comes to Tambov, they say, "Wow, like guys, the place is super cheap." So. When it comes to food, clothes, transport, Russia is the best. But choose wisely on where you're going because you won't get that everywhere you go. But where I stay, guys, it's super cheap. And like comparing it to South African food, I can say it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of low compared to here at home. And another thing you need to know is that like we use, let me just say they, they use uh, rubles and rubles it's kind it's uh, less compared to rand uh, so um, one rand is equal to five ruble and it's not always five rubles guys sometimes it's like four point something it's hardly four it's hardly five it's four point five four point three four point eight it's hardly four point eight even though like so it's just like four point something rubles so it's kind of like convenient for us when we are there because our currency is higher than their currency okay you understand so even for transport guys um okay in russia they have uh 
in here even here in south africa we have like those public buses like here in, Af in south africa we have um Ria Vaya. we have what's that we also have how drone buses like by like the ones i'm mentioning now are mainly f are found in Jorik, like they in Kiado, Lipopo. we have um what's the name of those buses but we have them but it's not that cheap compared to like russia i think for here it depends where you're going but in russia like you just pay the same amount it doesn't matter whether you're going two kilometers five kilometers you know 10 50 you pay the same amount if they say the pass is 25 rubles of which is like um I think it's five rand i'm not sure in rents but it's the same like if this it's 25 rubles you pay the same amount it doesn't matter where you're going i mean the distance so i feel like it's convenient just like that so even clothes guys like though last time i didn't buy a lot of things but like looking and checking at the prices it's kind of you know affordable so another thing i want to talk about guys it's rules if there's something that russians obey is government rules let me just not say like government rules but like whenever there are rules that are applying they make sure they follow them so for example when you want to cross the road like as a pedestrian we have pedestrian signs okay and we also have the robot that shows that we can pass now we stop so you know we know we all know that here in sa if there are no cars coming we just pass like we don't have to wait for cars or whatever so one thing one thing i've realized there guys whether there are no cars coming or there are cars coming if you are a pedestrian and the robot is closed for you even if there's no cars guys you stop until your robot opens Hey, talking about these guys i almost got arrested because of something but that's a topic for another day i guess it's not a secret anymore because i even told my mom about this and her reaction guys <laughs> yeah i even told my mom about this but like i was scared that she was gonna shout at me but she didn't shout at me so i guess because like i was just getting used to the place i didn't know everything so guys like if when you go there or maybe you are there just make sure you follow everything don't try to leave shortcut life because they will shortcut you they will arrest you they will arrest you so make sure you follow everything they say like another thing i've realized like even at school you have to follow everything they say if they say don't don't if they say do do because you'll be in trouble okay you'll be in trouble so another thing i've realized guys it's that like people mostly mind their own business there i don't know if like it's just my point of view or whatever but like people mind their business for example like when you're in the bars you know and then like you know when you're in the bars and then you there doing your stuff whatever they don't care about what you do with who whatever so people mind their own business as long as they're going where they're going that's it you know but like another thing i've realized is just, is that like most russian people are friendly they are friendly guys they are super friendly and because we know that like russia it's like a country for white people so when they see you black they most of them they have that interest like of most mostly like old people they have that interest of like knowing more about you where you come from and all that so i find that very welcoming yeah i find it very welcoming and another thing i can say is that like russia is safe it's super safe it's not like here in SA, in sa where like in Jobek, when you have to go outside you have to put yourself on you know you have to hide it like there you can just walk with your phone 
whatever time at night or during the day no one is gonna take your phone no one is gonna hack you no one is gonna do anything to you you go you travel you walk with your belongings whenever like you put it however you want to put it like with your handbag you don't have to hide your handbag like here in SA you just walk freely and no one is gonna harm you no one is gonna do anything is super safe guys i just feel like the way the government and the police they are too strict even the people guys like they follow everything i'm not saying our government or whatever they're not strict but like they guys they follow everything the government say and um another experience that i've had um Okay, I've talked about like people being friendly and all that except for one day where I had uh, I experienced racism Do I have to talk about it now? I think I'm gonna talk about that another day, but guys I was super hurt like I've never been hurt like I took that personally and like i was super head guys i was head so i think i'm like make it um yeah story time and tell you guys about exactly what happened yeah so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching this video thank you for taking your time and watch my video please don't forget to like subscribe and comment on this video thank you so much guys